Good morning, guys. Hello. <laughs> it's early Saturday morning. I have no idea why the birds are awake so early. It's just after seven. Actually, they probably should be by seven. <laughs> We're at the Melbourne Sports and Aquatic Centre, if you can see that big sign over there. And this weekend's a little different for you. Um, from my Ultimarket Recycler channel and for Christine's channel, Christine's Home Affairs. We're having a big weekend at the Table Tennis Championships. It's the Victorian Country Table Tennis Championships where we play table tennis for three days. I know I'm supposed to be in my yard cleaning up, but this is a, a mental break. Um, and you'll be mental. <laughs> and Christine should be home sewing something, surely. <laughs> but uh, we'll take you around, we'll show you what goes on, just for a bit of a different video. It won't be overly long and uh, hope you enjoy it. Well, I told you we're here early. Um, it doesn't actually start till when, nine or something? Or... I think we're here for photos at eight. Oh, we're gonna get team photos at eight. So this is the premier Melbourne sports precinct. There's swimming, there's basketballs, there's badminton, there's all sorts of things. It's the home of Table Tennis Victoria, where we come to some of our major tournaments. So, um, yeah, we're here nice and early. We've got a great park, uh, staying at my cousin's place just down the road a bit. So uh, let's go and have a look. All the tables should be set up. We'll go and check it out. Here's the main hall. There are 20, how many? 20, 36. There's 36 tables all up, but some of them are in the other room. There's 24 in here. So there's 24 tables in here. And here's some of the medallions that the leading players of each grade will win. Uh, there's, I think there's about 10 different grades. Here's some of the trophies with lots of shields and these date back many, many years. Uh, there are, there is an honor board up here of all previous winners and life members and Hall of Fame members and that sort of stuff. So it's a pretty big event. I think it's been going for about 60 years other than... 70. 70. 70th oh, it's the 70th anniversary this year. And basically it's all the country associations around Victoria. It's not the Melbourne people, but it's all the major town centres and uh, we all come together in Melbourne and it's a great weekend. Okay, time for the first hit of the weekend. Christine and I are just having a little bit of warm up here on a spare table. A lot of people are still arriving at this stage. And it was a fairly chilly morning, so it's good to get the blood moving. I've got to say the lighting in this, this is the second room, not the main room, and the lighting in here was absolutely terrible. I think it's set up for um, badminton or something, and it just doesn't suit table tennis. Very glary and quite reflective. Okay, here's the main room from up in the viewing area. Uh, we're behind glass, so hopefully you don't get too much reflection. And I think there was 24 tables in this main room. And there's another, I don't know, 12. I think there might be 36, Christine said, in the other room. Or adds up to 36 in total. So there's some very handy players in here. Some state champions. Some uh, Australian representatives. It covers ages from, well, there's no limits. I think there's been eight-year-olds playing in the lower grades. And then up to, we've got one member in our Shepparton team, I think is 88 and he's still very competitive, an ex-Victorian representative. So it's a great long weekend. We really look forward to it each year. It's, you know, it's a real shame COVID got in the road for two years. Uh, there's some very talented players here. There was 12 grades in total and uh, I'm playing in C2. I have played higher in previous years. It, just, it sort of just depends on who you teamed with. Um, but we might get a little bit of footage of some of the A grade matches later and uh, give you an idea of what we like to do. And as you can see, watch these two guys just here, well back from the table, a couple of young juniors here. This will probably be the A grade. And it shows you that it's uh, not really hit and giggle. It's a very athletic sport. So we're looking forward to a good weekend. Okay, uh, here's some A graders warming up, uh, just to show you that um, it is a fairly athletic sport. Uh, you've not only got to be quick, you've got to have excellent technique great reflexes and uh, and yeah athleticism is um, paramount in the sport you need to be very very agile and, and uh, anticipate where the ball is going uh, I've seen lots better rallies than what these guys are doing they're doing some backhand counter hitting at the moment just to create that muscle memory so that you can react quickly in a fast rally and here's Christine playing one of her first teams matches um, I don't remember if she won this one or not, but she plays in, this is the E1 grade. Nice backhand winner there from Christine. Um, so 
Down at this grade you get a lot of people that haven't played very seriously but they've mucked around all their life and they've developed their own little tricks. Some of them are very awkward. I'm trying to get Christine to be more aggressive and play some more attacking strokes. Uh, but some people are very hard to play against. They slow the game up, they put the ball in awkward positions and it's really hard to attack them. And table tennis is a funny sport to watch on, on, like on TV or on YouTube because what someone can actually look very easy to beat but in reality there's weird spins on the ball very hard to read the ball so it's really hard to gauge someone's ability from watching some footage of them but i think christine went on to win that and now here's a doubles match that i played in that christine filmed before i had my disastrous injury um and we um we actually won this game i think it started at love all so my partner Josh down the other end and I teamed up fairly well. A uh, little bit of conjecture there as to what the score was. So if any of you haven't played table tennis for a long time, you only play up to 11 now. You used to play to 21. And with doubles, you have to serve... Well, in all games, you only serve two serves and then you swap. And in doubles, you need to serve diagonally across the table. Very happy with that back end there. I've been working on my back end and that was a... A clear winner. I'm glad Christine got that on film. So my serve now, I've got to serve a cross court, heavy backspin, Josh pushes, the young guy attack loops, I've managed to chop it back. A lot of different spins on the ball that's impossible to pick just from watching. Even if you know the game, it's really hard to pick what spins are on the ball. There's a lot of deceit involved. These pushes are usually quite heavy backspin. Nice top spin back end by the, uh, that opposition there and it clipped the net on the way through so he put his hand up to apologize uh, and now he's serving side spin serve i think that was a let so now he's changed to a forehand serve heavy backspin josh pushes so i haven't actually commentated table tennis before i use a, a long floater there josh goes for a big backhand winner down the line and that was a great shot too i think we won this relatively easily in the end so it was good to get another win for our team um you get some really great rallies in doubles. There was no outstanding rallies in this game, but you do get a lot of variation. Top spins, side spins, heavy back spin. Often a floating ball with no spin is really hard to play. And the bats we use are very grippy generally, um, and so they do impart a lot of spin on the ball. Uh, I can't quite see the score there. I'm not sure what the score is, but um, we had some reasonably good rallies. A lot of pushing... I uh, should have got that one or tried to float it across the net. Um, Deceit is very handy in this game. If you can make people think it's a different spin than what it is, you will force an error or they'll pop it up and you can smash it away. So I use a lot of backspin serves. Nice return there, Josh. Bit of a flick from my backhand there and that kicks off the table and mucks up their timing. I, I play well back. Um, I like to do a lot of retrieving. Well, Josh shouldn't have miss, missed that, and he's practicing what he should have done. Uh, of course, we all make lots of errors, and we don't take it terribly serious. It's always nice to have a laugh, and just about everyone you play against is um, you know, very jovial about it all. It's a great weekend. It's a good social weekend. Uh, big forehand topspin loop there. A lot of spin on it. Lucky it missed the table. Uh, Josh has got some really spinny serves. Quite tricky to read. Uh, yep, big rally there. We all went out of screen. So, uh, Christine, thanks for filming this. I did have to turn the sound, sound down quite a lot because there was a few people chatting nearby. Uh, and besides, you don't get a lot of the ball noise because the stadium's so loud. I was very happy with that big forehand to win the match. So, uh, yep, that put us well ahead in this game. Good. Okay. I shouldn't be smiling. I'm not happy. I think I'm too old for this. Um, we won both our matches today 8-3. Uh, but I had to forfeit. I was undefeated, but I had to forfeit my last match because I've done a shoulder injury. I think I've torn a muscle or something. So we've got ice, painkillers, um, drugs. Not ice drugs, ice, ice. Uh, <laughs> Perhaps you need some ice. <laughs> so I'm just hoping I can play tomorrow and I hope I don't muck it up too much for uh, the next 30 days. Okay guys, I'm back at the stadium this morning. It's Sunday. Um, bad news with my shoulder. I barely can lift it um, past my shoulder level. I had to brush my hair with my left hand this morning. It's really painful. Um, I'm very disappointed in that our team was in a good position to get the shield. I played five matches yesterday before I injured my shoulder and I hadn't lost a match. 
was really happy with my game, so I'm very disappointed about that. Uh, Christine's playing this morning. We'll go and have a look at her in a minute. I'll show you the score sheets, uh, or at least where Shepard is in our grade. Um, the boys are disappointed as well, of course, but they've got someone to fill in now uh, who they've brought up from a lower grade. So it puts us in a not as a commanding position uh, after winning our two matches yesterday. So I've got to find a, a GP somewhere this morning and see if I can get some stronger painkillers. I couldn't sleep last night because of the pain. Hopefully it doesn't take long to heal. I do have to rest it as much as I can and hopefully it doesn't impact my big clean up at home. We'll just have to see how it turns out. Okay, here's the C2 grade and you can see that our Shepparton team were undefeated, played two, one, two, lost zero and we're equal with the Ballarat team and we would have been, I think we play them tomorrow morning and as for the individual ladder, well there's only myself here and Gavin from Sunraysia who were undefeated but of course I only played five before I had my injury. So I guess if there's a, a positive to take out of this, I can say that I'm undefeated for the whole tournament, but I won't be taking any further part. Hey guys, just an update on what's going on. It's Sunday evening now. Uh, I've been hanging around here, uh, umpiring and cheering Christine on. I spent four hours at uh, the Alfred Hospital, um, just south of the city, I think it is, um, and got x-rays done because my shoulder was very sore. Uh, they tell me that there's no fractures. I didn't expect there were, but they wanted to check. And it's most likely just a torn ligament or a torn muscle, but possibly ligament damage. So uh, I've had a sling on here today and they tell me that's the best thing I can do for it. Uh, just basically rest it. So that's gonna make things pretty awkward this week. I was gonna do a scrap run. We might have to put that off for the moment. I still feel I can lift and move things around okay. Um, I can't lift my arm above my shoulder level though. Uh, so that's what we're up to. Uh, Christine's playing the individuals. I've been umpiring and doing a bit of cheering on. Um, so we're still, we're still enjoying it. Obviously it's not how I wanted my weekend to go. So I'll see if I can get some footage of Christine playing in the singles this evening. And then we'll probably, well, we'll be back here again in the morning for the same sort of thing, the last match for Christine's team. My team lost both their matches today, unfortunately, so we're out of the race for any uh, any shields. And then uh, we travel back home tomorrow afternoon. The shops have been really, really busy. We've got a couple of girls running our shops and they have been texting in and saying they're having really good sales and lots of stuff's moving, so that's fantastic news. Um, we'll have to obviously get back into the cleanup this week, but I will be a bit limited with what I can do. So uh, I'll bring you a bit of footage. I'll perhaps I'll try some footage of Christine's matches if I can, and uh, I'll give a bit of a, a conclusion for this video once we get home tomorrow. So here's some footage of Christine playing actually in the final of the over 40s women's country Victorian championship. Um, I do have to declare, and I think she would want me to declare that there was only two entered Christine, and I think this lady's name was Kim. Uh, it's a shame these individual events aren't well supported, but I think because most players in this weekend uh, championships, are in, and there's over 300 enter, I think, they all come down to Melbourne for the weekend and a lot of them want to catch up with family and go out and see the sights of Melbourne. So m to most people, this tournament isn't doesn't mean anything much and they'd have to hang around all Sunday night to play it. So, But anyway, Christine played well. She... Uh, she started, oh, what was that? I'll put my coach's hat on. Christine, you don't play shots like that. That's better. Follow through. So anyway, she's um, she's going well. She enjoyed the weekend. Like all players, we have ups and downs. We usually have you know, a couple of matches where you play terribly and you lose a bit of confidence. But uh, Christine finished well and she won this match in four and missed that one. But uh, look, it's an interesting sport um, and it's a lot of fun, always challenging. Good win, Christine. Okay, guys, I'm back in the shop. It's actually a couple of days later. I've got to conclude this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's totally different to what I normally do, but it does show you what Christine and I like to do other than our shops and recycling and home improvements and all that sort of stuff. We also do rock and roll dancing, and I'll show you some more of that sometime. But anyway, I thought it was just worth showing the video. I hadn't planned on making it something about me hurting my shoulder. Um, I didn't want to do that. It's mucking up things a bit, but we'll forge ahead. 
Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of table tennis. Some of you might play a little bit. Some of you might just think it's a something you do in your garage and it's not a serious sport. We love it. It's what we like to do. And no doubt you'll probably see more on our channel. We will be going off to Darwin uh, later this year in October for the Table Tennis Nationals. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. We'll probably throw in a video from our trip to Darwin. Hopefully I can hold my body together. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.